Hi and welcome to Fishing Western Australia. Today we've got a very informative show for you and I'm here with my mate Bruce from Gone Fishing Beach Safaris. Again Bruce, what are we going to teach people about today? Well Steve, we're going to read the beach, we're going to do some hopper work, uh, bait work, a bit of lure and then we'll go and target the fish that we both love. Yes, that fish is the tailor and I know you love them as well. We're going to look at them from the beach, we're going to look at them from a boat, from the rocks, but we've also got heaps of other things on the show as well. Let's have a look at what else you're going to see today. Apart from some great tailor fishing tips, we're going to feature a well-kept secret, Point Samson. Not only is the action hot, but the fish are big, tough and full of teeth. That is a great Spanish mackerel, about eight or nine kilos. Most big tailor are caught around Perth along shallow inshore reef systems. You can see waves breaking over a shallow reef in front of it and this creates a foamy cover for the tailor to hide in and hunt from. Just in front of that reef rate, Steve, where the water swirls around the corner. Yeah. Just in front of that. Yeah, that's where you're looking to land, in this case, my popper. That's it. For bigger tailor, we use different tackle. That's called a popper. And there's a cup on the front that moves water and actually splashes and creates a lot of activity on the surface. And bigger tailor, they actually like to hunt more than they like to scavenge muleys and just have a go at the odd bit of bait, don't they? Oh, sure, they'll hit that really hard on the surface. Exactly. It's got a nice bit of flash through it. The idea is to cast the popper over the back of the reef and zoom it back through the break. Poppers don't sink, so snags aren't a problem, and you can see how a nice deep gutter is formed between the beach and the reef. Here and along the wash at the sides of the reef is where the tailor will be. A different technique we used was when we went to White Hills, wasn't it? That's the crack, Steve. We were fishing alongside a rip into a gutter and we were slow retrieving. That's right. In the clear water too, there's a bit of churned water on the side, then there's a bit of clear water next to that, right alongside that rip. The tailor, we're looking into the clear water, aren't we? They're in the clear water and the little bait fish are coming out of the dirty water, out of the rip area, and the tailor is just grabbing. Okay. Now Bruce, I found an excellent example of how you don't have to vary a technique too much from the rocks and from a boat was oyster reef in Kalbarri because we had a fish just off the reef from the shore. But once again mate, they're going to be in that foam aren't they? Yes, yeah, Steve, the tail are going to be laying in underneath and hunting. Yeah, waiting for that bait fish to take an ambush it from below. Now I remember when I was in Kalbarri last and I was out on the Kalbarri Explorer and we've been bottom fishing but it, when I came through that channel past Black Rock at the river mouth I couldn't resist one cast with my Yozuri Tiger Popper, right? they work so well and the foam was really churning because the swell was up and I said to the skipper, two casts, that's all I want. I chucked the first one out into the clear water, nothing. No. As soon as I put the second cast into the foam, bang, bang. two kilo tailor, it almost spooled me because we couldn't stop and the boat was spinning around. But it just goes to show there's nothing really too tricky about it, work the foam. Work the foam, yes, yeah, sir, that's it. We're the hunting. Exactly right. When we were at Dirk Hartog Island, the water was flat calm, there was no foam, and the tailor were hanging under reefs. So I changed to a lure that got right into the strike zone of the fish, and the results just happened straight away. I'm on! Here I chose a brightly coloured bomber lure that really gave the fish something to chase, and boy did they chase it. I'm not technically sure that's a tailor actually. I think it might have a mackerel here. That's a giveaway. I'll stop now. If it is a tailor, I'll be very happy. If a tailor's doing this, it's going to be a good one. Oh, he's still going. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! he goes. He's going for the reef. They're a nice size for a school tailor. He's not a small fish, that's for sure. Sensational. What a wonderful fish. They're not what we call massive up here, but oh gee, you've got to be happy with it. Here we go. Goodness me. That's one heck of a fish. Now, <laughs> this is a good example of tailor teeth. That's about the best set I've seen on a tailor. Have a look at those. Nasty. I'll pop him back now, eh? You ready, mate? Here we go. Bye bye.
One of the best kept secrets of northern WA is the small town of Point Sampson. We were invited to come for a fish during the Perth winter and we didn't have to be asked twice. Walking through the beautiful gardens of the Point Sampson Lodge, we could feel all of the city stress disappear the minute we checked in. The pool was awfully inviting, but even more inviting was the offer of a day's fishing on Rick McGregor's new boat moored at the town marina. This looks all right, man. Yeah, absolutely. Point Sampson may not be well known to most people, but mad anglers like Marshy and myself know just how good the fishing is, and how can you miss if you're fishing with the Phantom? Phantom. Phantom, all right. I wonder if he's on board. Are you the Phantom? Yes, that's me. There you go, Marshy. Yeah, Marshy, is it? Steve, yeah. mate. Steve, how is it? Beautiful boat, eh? Yeah, no, she's excellent. I'm wrapped with it. The question is, are we going to get some beautiful fish? Oh, always, always. Okay, mate, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's get on board. Righty, yeah. Room for a small one. <laughs> the shore fishing around town is good most of the year, but Rick really wanted to take us out to his favourite Trevelyan mackerel grounds offshore, and who are we to argue? All right, we've pulled up at Rick's first spot for the day where he says there's some massive golden trevally. There might be a few blue bone, but mainly this is a great trevally spot around the coral. Now, when you're fishing around coral or rocks, you want some good leader like this Shogun, 80 pound. So that way when the fish runs into the rocks, you've got a chance of stopping him. The lure I'm using, my old faithful laser. You can see it's already had a few uh, belts on this one, so I know it works. We're gonna drop them to the bottom, twitch them along through the rocks. Something might grab them, and I reckon Mate, the fish here are supposed to be big, aren't they? Oh yeah. Then they get bigger as we get out. As promised, Rick put us right on the fish, and Marshy hooked up before his jig even hit the bottom. Yep, we whacked with fish. Oh, Marshy, you know what I reckon that might be? Don't even say the word that begins with T. I think that's a trevally. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's got some weight, hasn't it? Yeah, that's too. Alright, I'm on the move. But that sort of determined fight, I reckon you've definitely got a good trevally going here, mate. Luckily we're not fishing too deep, so it's not going to be the hardest job to get him up here. <laughs> that always hurts. <laughs> Strong fish. Ooh. Any colour yet? No. no. Only the redness in my face. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look then, that was a video. <laughs> trevally sure know how to use their body shape against you. The pond was almost dragged off the phantom already and this was only the first drop for the day. I thought about nailing his feet to the deck at one stage. Oh, that's a beauty. Gee whiz. Have a look at that. That's a ripper. Do they come in kid sizes? Oh. <laughs> that's as big as you are, mate. That's what I mean. I've never seen a golden trevally that big before. That's massive, Rick. Nice, isn't it? Are they all that big are up they, here? Are they? are they all that big yeah, up here? Yeah, no, they're beautiful fish, aren't they? Oh, wonderful. They're not quite as gold as the golden trevally you get when they're smaller and, and sort of further south. Yeah. Boy, they make up for it in size, don't they, yeah, mate? Yeah. No, they're beautiful fish, eh? Well, this fish is really making my arms tired now, so <laughs> I think we should put him back. Okay. Goes. Well, there you go. First fish of the day, it feels like your arms are falling off. Oh, this is just off the edge of the bank. I was jigging with my favourite little laser lure. Did you get wasted, did you? Oh, did some, some just take you off, did it? Hey, that was my lure, idea. Marshy. <laughs> no. I gave you that lure out of my tackle box under the proviso that you didn't lose it and you've lost it. <laughs> Not only did he lose it, but he went right back into my tackle box again. Oh, I tell you what, looking at the spool, I reckon we might get a bit of colour in there. He's coming up. He's coming up. How are you going there? Oh, great. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really sporty now. Because <laughs> I don't break. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, here he is. What a beauty. He's a beauty. Look at that lure just at the side of his mouth. He's had a big go at that. Yeah, I just 
grabbing my hands when there's any damage done. I've got barbless hooks, so it might pop out the way up here, but we should be right. Load on him there. Mate. Yep, loaded him up. Look at that. Hey, hey. Oh, that's Another the biggest golden I've caught. Look at the tail. That's magnificent. Look at the size of it. No wonder they hurt you. <laughs> oh, yeah, they know. Let me know when you got that hook out of him there, mate. Barbless hook should come right out, but they got yeah, those nice big thing. rubbery lips. Now, they use those big nice. rubbery lips to actually feel in the sand because although they're living around reefs here, Golden Trevally also like to feed on crabs and other things in the sand. And those lips actually are quite sensitive for feeling around inside sandy little holes and that sort of thing for crabs and other crustaceans. And uh, he's we, a beauty. we both got one now. <laughs> I'm stoked on that. That's the biggest golden I've caught. So we'll put him right back. All right, he'll go straight back because they're so hardy. I'll just pop him in the water. Make sure. <laughs> wow, they're strong. 